Welcome to Hit Podcast, HIT, Human Resources, Insurance, and Technology. I'm your host, Toby Kennedy. My goal is to be a worthy weekly follow for you to go through all the moving pieces in the world of human resources, insurance, and technology, curate this down into a bite-sized weekly hit. We are sponsored by Montage Insurance Solutions. We drop into your feed every Tuesday. Like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. And with all that being said, let's jump right into your weekly hits. Well, we figured a day like the 4th of July, a holiday, and even a holiday people travel for, would be perfect to talk about this benefits. Maybe you're at the river, maybe you've ducked off away to the beach for a little getaway, or maybe your employees have done the same. Obviously, some of us are in our backyard grilling up burgers and dogs, but with the holiday falling on a Tuesday this year, maybe employees that just took the one day, just the Monday, or even work for an employer that gave it off, they have a chance for a four-day holiday. And maybe that four days was enough for them to get over 100 miles from home. And anytime you're over 100 miles from home, your travel assistance benefit, if you have it, kicks in. So we thought this would be a nice opportunity to talk about that. Typically, almost all the carriers that you purchase, either your group life insurance or disability through, would have baked this in as a sort of value-added benefit. That being said, it's also often one of the more forgotten about benefits, right? We get through open enrollment, we talk about medical, dental, vision, there's this whole deluge of conversation, and the poor travel assistance plan, maybe it uh, got a little bit lost in the shuffle. So let's take a minute today to talk about not only the travel assistance plan and what's in it and kind of what they might entail, but also the fact that in advance of major holiday, major travels, that we should maybe spare a thought for the email campaign or the messaging campaign that we might want to do to highlight this benefit, right? If we have a time or a season where employees might be most likely to need or want or frankly benefit from this, then Perhaps a little reminder along the way is a good idea for us. So backing this up, the travel assistance plan, it's designed to perform any time an employee is over 100 miles from home. It does a lot of the little things like lost luggage, forgotten prescription, right? So you can sort of call into this line and you can kind of say, hey, look, you know, I'm staying at such and such city and I look down and I need seven of my kids' allergy pills because we just didn't take them with us. Can you coordinate my carrier, the local pharmacy, et cetera, or again, the lost luggage piece? But it also goes a little bit more, you know, big and, and severe, right? So things like lost passports or needing to see the embassy or even emergency evacuation. Maybe there's civil unrest. Maybe there's a medical need for an evacuation. So this type of a benefit, you know, pinging your employees on the front end of, you know, again, major travel seasons, it's, it's maybe really helpful. Back in the day, the carriers used to show up with these really cool little wallet card that had like a perforated part of the flyer where you can tear it out and physically hold on to the car. But nowadays, everything is so digital that it's just sort of like, hey, listen, Mr. and Mrs. Employee, save this number, label it in your phone as something you're going to remember. Or even if you have a subfolder in your phone for your insurance cards, your ID cards, pictures of those sort of things, maybe add this to it. And just be aware that anytime you're over 100 miles from home, here are some of the benefits. So while we're here together on this 4th of July holiday, we thought this might be a nice time to say, look, Remember some of the lesser heralded parts of the benefits package and let's do some drip marketing throughout the year, right? So maybe Labor Day, maybe Thanksgiving, maybe the end of the year is a good time for the travel assistance plan. But maybe there's also lots of other little pieces to your benefits portfolio, right? Gym discounts, any of those types of things that you might have. I think kind of the three rules with benefits uh, education is communicate, communicate again, and then over communicate, right? We just can't say it enough. And so while we're here together, we thought we would take an opportunity to talk about number one, plucking out the little pieces of your benefits portfolio that might be lesser thought of, might be forgotten, and figuring out a messaging campaign throughout the course of the year. And number two, specifically, the travel assistance program, which lots of employers have. It's probably tied to your life and disability. And frankly, if we ask most employees, they might not necessarily be aware of it. So a good example of what a reminder campaign throughout the course of the year can and should highlight. 
That's all the time we have here together. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy 4th of July. Join us every Tuesday here on the Hit Podcast. Like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. And until next week, make this the best week yet. Yeah.